Hello, folks. Welcome to the channel. This is DoorDash Sucks here on YouTube, and welcome to yet another video. It's around 3 o'clock on Tuesday. I took a little bit of a break in between doing the morning. Uh, I went out at 9.30, and I worked till 1, and I only made $40, folks. 40 bucks in my market. Now, keep in mind, it is a Tuesday, and Tuesday Mondays and Tuesdays are typically slow. But I was running both apps, and I did not take any crazy orders that came through. I declined a whole lot. I I mean, I probably declined at least 20 to 30 orders. And in between that, I took a few, which ended up me making 40 bucks. Uber, I had running in the background, and I was only I, – I, I didn't make anything. I didn't even take – actually, did I take one order? I think I might have taken one for 10 bucks or something, something like that. So, yeah, in essence, 50 bucks, right? That's terrible from nine o'clock to, and I told you this before that this was what my typical money in my market was. And it's been like that consistently for a year, basically. The only respite I had, and the only good thing for a little bit was I was making like $70 because I was working at the pizza place and I skipped out the uh, lunch on DoorDash and I decided to do that. But I have left left that job since. And so now I'm back to square one. But what I'm leading into here, folks, and I mean, the thing is, right, I spent about a half hour doing a video on a channel that I was going to expose a person OK, and I decided not to do it because I'm saying to myself, what am I doing out here? Right. I'm out here to help the drivers, to help the community. Right. And I don't really like mentioning names. I know I have in the past, but I guess I'm going to try to not do that. It just sucks, though, because you, I want to, like, tell you guys the truth of things. I mean, I never lied to you. I'm telling you the truth. But the thing is, is that it's hard because there's a lot of dashers. There's a lot of channels out here that are doing things for different reasons. And most of the thing, the motivation that makes people do things is money, right? So... <laughs> On the basis of money, that's why we are dashing to make money, right? But see, a lot of channels have found a way to make money other than doing DoorDash or other than doing Uber or other than doing Rideshare because they start to get an audience and the audience likes them. And then they start collecting revenue from all different sources, Super Chats, um, Google AdSense, affiliate programs by you know put you know selling a product on their you know like a little commercial on their on their channel hey buy uh clorox bleach today and it'll help you whiten your clothes you know what i mean and in you know on one side of it there's nothing wrong with doing it per se but when you get caught up in that you start to lose focus of what what your original mission was now, a lot of people join YouTube because they want to become famous, right? But the Lord Jesus says, don't try to be famous in the world, be famous with me. In other words, do what I ask and in, in, uh, in what I command you to do, and you'll be famous in my eyes, right? But the world wants to be recognized. They want to get their face out there. They want to be known. And that is called vanity, folks. That's vain, vanity, where you're, you want to be seen, you want to be heard, all of these things, right? And I'm trying to teach you some, some laurels or morals or whatever you want to call it a little bit in this video too. But what I'm getting to is, so I was telling you, I, was a, I did a video on a channel that I was going to expose, and he's not even that popular. He's only got like two or 3,000 subs. And then we have another person that's out there with a lot of subs and I watched a video he did and what he said didn't add up to what he was shown in the video. In other words, 
I made X amount of dollars today. Let me show you. When he shows you partially what he made on one app, but he doesn't show you the other one. And he said, I did this all in about four hours, right? Without mentioning names here, right? And I'm thinking to myself, hmm, that don't seem right. In other words, was a video kind of telling the community, geez, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. What am I doing out here, right? Now, I know some of you will guess in the comments who you think it is and everything. But remember, there's a lot of channels out here, folks, a lot of them. And almost all of them are not not like mine and I'm not trying to be I'm not trying to put put myself on a pedestal and I know I say that sometimes but I'm trying to say it to to show an example or to set how how's this not to show an example to set an example set an example right I guess my actions should be louder than my words right but with that said so I was doing this exposing video of the first channel, and then I thought, well, maybe I'll do, maybe I should do another one for exposing this. And then I just thought, no, that's not good either, because I don't want to start doing that. You know what I mean? I don't want to start attacking people and their credibility and, and um, you know, saying that the person's lying or thinking they are and putting that in someone's head to make them think that. Because then uh, where's my proof that, you know, they may be telling the truth. So I don't know. I, so that's called judging for you shall be judged. And I didn't, I don't want to judge. Right. So that's the reason I'm telling you it. So I backed off. I did. I, well, I did the video and then I just, I'm not going to upload it because God put it on my hat not to do it, not to do, not to, I, cause I don't, it's not slandering or actually maybe it partially is. I don't know. Um, in the eyes of God, it is. <laughs> Why am I attacking my brethren, right? So I don't, I don't want to go there. But what I, what I will say, and this is what the moral of this, this message is here, is beware of people out there that are teaching you, well, showing you things or telling you things that you may think is real and you're trying to chase after that same dream. In other words... And someone says to you, oh, I made $250 today in four hours, or I made 200 bucks in, in four hours. Is, are they really telling you the truth? Are they really telling you the truth? Even though they might even show you a screenshot, are they still telling you the truth? Or is it that their channels, they realize that they can't make the same money they were making before, and so they're keeping up a facade and showing you something that's not real, and they may be lying to you. Now, I'm not saying they are, because there could be a market somewhere out there that's doing good. But really, four hours? Now, let me say something. Thomas Schubeck, one of my subscribers, you know, I've mentioned him in videos. He continuously, and I'm so grateful for him, he shows us a, a breakdown of what he makes during his, his shift. He, he's out in... Uh, is it Michigan? I think Michigan, Detroit, around Detroit, something like that. If it's not, let me know in the comment, Thomas. But uh, and I forgot because my mind is all over the place. But what I'm trying to say here is, he wrote several times. Geez, I worked uh, 82 hours online, made 213 dollars. Another day, it's 175 dollars in like 10 hours or so, or 13 hours. Then, yeah, something like that, 13 hours or something. I mean. And I'm talking like these are long hours you got to put in to make this money. How the hell are people telling us they're making it in four hours? It's not possible. I went to, I went to a city, a major city last week to test it out. And I barely made, well, I made, let me see, in four hours, what did I make in four hours? I made 60, was it 60, 60 or 70 in four hours. So let's say, let's say the next four hours, I'm getting all kinds of bangers, right? Do you think I'm going to make $140 in the, in the next four hours, which is from noon to four? Because I went, I went to this city at seven in the morning. So I worked seven to 10, wait, wait eight, nine, 10, 11. No, I worked till 11 
And you think from 11 to say three, I'm going to make 140. And I can, and I can say to you in eight hours, I made, uh, 200 bucks. How, how are these people doing it? I mean, I just don't get it. And the, the person that showed this, that I'm telling you about showed it on two different platforms. Well, they didn't show the one platform, but they showed one, but they didn't show the other. And the only one was just about a hundred bucks. And then on the other app, that person said, oh, no, I made 140 on this one in four hours. But he, ne but that person never showed, never showed the, the, the app. And I'm thinking, uh-oh, something's going on here. This person's lying. They got to be lying. Because why wouldn't you show it? Why would you show one and not the other? It's, a, it's like a mind game. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying, buyer, I mean, driver or watcher beware and don't believe everything that you hear from some of these channels because some of these channels are lying to us, folks. And I'm starting to think that some of these channels are taking payoffs directly from DoorDash to promote DoorDash for other people so they'll sign up and, and deliver. Now, when I go to certain channels or almost all of them, that are monetized, the, I keep seeing DoorDash ads continuously. You know the one I'm talking about? Hi, do you, my friend told me I I saw this guy on DoorDash and he told me how much he could make. Remember that ad that plays all the time? You see it all the time. You won't see any of those ads on my, on my channel, folks. I won't allow them to play here. <laughs> but, um, you know, people are getting money from AdSense, getting from money from all different connections. But are they really making the DoorDash money or the Uber Eats money to survive? Or, the, or are they living off of other people's money that's coming in passively? Like with join buttons, when you join, you know, spend $2.99 a month and you have, say, eh, thousands of subscribers and they're all paying you $2.99 a month. All you need, do you know, realize, folks, all you need is about 500 people per month. What What is 500 people times $3 per month, right? So, let, matter of fact, let me, uh, let me do that. I think, isn't that 1500 bucks? I think it is. Let me see. I don't have I don't have a calculator, so I'm gonna do this. Five hundred times three. Yeah, that's fifteen hundred bucks. Fifteen hundred dollars per per month if you have five hundred subscribers paying two ninety nine, basically, right? Fifteen hundred. I mean, you could pay your rent, your bills with that. Now uh, you have some other money coming in from another source. Another, say, 500. Say, add 2,000. You have uh, two to 3,000 coming in from another source. Do you really need DoorDash to drive? <laughs> Do you? I see a lot of channels going to be exiting out of this gig community at some point and kind of phasing into another type of a channel rather than doing what they originally did because they know that they can't make money from delivering anymore because the markets are saturated, completely saturated. You, you get what I'm saying? Oh, anyways, like I said, not going to call out people. I'm not going to mention names. I'm going to try not to because that's just attacking my brothers and sisters and I'm not going to do it. However, it is okay to expose the companies the companies that are destroying our lives and lying to us and stealing from us. There's nothing wrong with heading towards righteousness and trying to make something right. Now, one other thing I'll say, any of the top dashes out here, any people who say, well, I'm, I'm a top dasher and I make the money and I, I have to, I need to, I got to pay my bills just like you, blah, 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 right? They, if you're just caring about yourself and not caring about others, then you have a problem, my friend or friends, okay? Because, because of your actions, you're causing an entire community 
to be hurt by your actions because yes, in essence, the companies are at fault for doing what they're doing in their, their dirty, slimy business practices, but it doesn't mean you have to go along with it. By not going along with it, you, you can better the community. But when you take dollar fifty, two dollar, two twenty fives, three twenty five, and anything under five buck orders with no tips on them, you are hurting all the rest of the ch so called cherry pickers that are out here, okay, who are trying to make a living, who are who refuse to do what you do. So I'm calling all the top dashes out in a general way. Shame on you for doing that because you're hurting the community. But that said, folks, I said what I said here. I, um, I had to put this message out because it's an important one. And I hope you all agree, or at least most of you do. Um, and, you know, look for some more videos coming up, you know, in the next few days to a week, whatever. And I've been putting out videos like nuts. <laughs> Uh, but there was a lot of things to talk about. And there's still lots more to talk about. So with that said, folks, I'll see you guys and gals on the next one. Take care.